Well, hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined with Hubby. Okay. And today we are burning <coughs> a horn. Right here. <laughs> We're burning the horn. I really need to get this guy done, so I'm just going to push through. Hopefully, this week I can have him done. I did get some burning done along here and up at the top here so that I can start erasing things. But I wanted to focus on the horn because I see a lot of people new to burning who are worried that it's going to disappear so they outline it and it kind of stands out wrong. Now right now what I'm doing is just erasing my graphite so it's not as dark because you don't need it as dark. So who we got? Hey David! Hey Amy! We have David and Amy. <laughs> And that's it. Well, we'll have more, hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm just going to get rid of this graphite. It's still really dark. I don't know how well you guys can see it. In fact, I shall well, like zoom it's in. Here. Hi, Melissa. Hopefully that. Hey, Sheila. Sheila, yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, I got some wonderful news. Wonderful, wonderful news. Well, wonderful for me, that is. This is going to sound really weird, but it makes me extremely happy. For the last two days, I've gotten to wear my fuzzy PK bottoms. That does make you happy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, well, I'm not wearing fuzzy ones. I'm no. wearing pajamas, too, though. Barb B is here as well. Hey, and Barb. So is Lana. Hey, Lana and, and Greg. Greg. <laughs> well, it looks like we are getting the gang. The gang is showing the up. The band is getting back together. Yep. You know what? Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more. That way. Oh, that coffee is hot. <laughs> That's what happens so with coffee. We went from summer, so Straight. hot, miserable, Straight up to all of a sudden fall. Like, now I'm, I'm chilly. Oh, I am perfect. I am happy. You're happy? Oh, I'm so happy. Fall is my favorite I, season. It is mine too. It favorite really is. Favorite. Like fall, well, no, fall is like my favorite. Because no, it is my favorite. And I, I, I really love winter, but fall is great. Yep. And, and I think it comes from where, when I grew up, um, fall is a time when you get like the first cold snap and uh, the mosquitoes die. <laughs> and so, that would be and then the ground is nice and hard to walk on after a few days of cold, and and the ponds freeze, and so, like getting around is like so much easier because I basically I lived on a on a hill that was surrounded by swamp, and so then when that swamp hardens, it's like it's so nice. <laughs> it's ground again. It's ground again. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, but just the beautiful, cool weather, like very inspiring. I always did a lot of things when I was when I, during the fall. I didn't want to interrupt, but I wanted to show them three new pins that I got yesterday. I got the 13M that's kind of like the 18, but it's shaped differently on the tip. So these are the same size, just different shape. And then I got the extra large ball tip of which I really like this. I was surprised. I didn't the largest I had was the large and I thought maybe this would heat up um, slower and it does require a little higher heat but the gliding of this pen who I'm really happy with it and then I got an 11 M to test out and see what I think it is very pointy very very pointy see and see the difference with that versus the 12 is the the curve so this one's not going to curve as easily the 12 would be better for curve lines than this would but i'm curious to see because it has a bigger footprint um how well it does lines but this the 19 xl i really like that pen and i will probably show it actually i should have been heating that one up because did they just pop the gate? It sounded like they popped the gate, but no, they didn't. So I'm actually going to put it on because I do need to burn around where the, the horn is. That way I'm not outlining. So I'm actually going to switch over 
because I can use this for good squigglies in here in here I started putting some in there so I do um, this lighter so <clears throat> Uh, David, the, uh, let's see, uh, well, I'll talk about my art in a little bit. Hey, Troy. Yes. Hey, Troy. Um, let's see. Um, and David's coming out swinging with a guess for the celebrity. <laughs> let's uh, see here. Ah, Tom Selleck. Let's see. Um, Lana says tips are very beautiful. And Lana, yes, it was a very extreme one day to the next. Yeah. One day, it was full on summer. Like, we had the fans going AC, AC on in the, the bedroom, <laughs> and then the next day, it was just, like, fall. And I have no complaints about that. Yeah. It was a little weird. Sunday was the shift. Yeah. And you could physically feel the shift. Yep. I gotta put my chest board down. Um, so I can see. Beryl is here as well. She, hey, likes, she likes her 13 m Oh, she's got one, okay. And Alana says the 11 m looks a little like a flame. A little, oh, yeah, I see what she means. She's sideways. Flame. Mm -hmm. It does. Huh. Maybe I should take a picture and use it that way. Uh, I am drinking coffee. So I am on almost five with the extra large ball tip. Get my quarter around. There we go. And what I'm going to do, touch down where it's already dark, kind of squiggle around. And I'm barely touching the wood. Just when I have the texture, that way. From here, it doesn't even look like you're doing anything. No. Um, okay. I mean, I'm not looking at your feet. I'm looking at the actual art. Oh, but I can see it. Well, as long as you can see it. I can see it. Yeah, because if I slow down, because I'm going really quick and barely touching, because if I slow down, let me find a dark spot. Oh, David really wants that print. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I don't know. And see if I slow down, let me find a place that's not burned. Let's see here. We can put some dark in here. If I slow down, it's much it helps if you're on camera too. It's much, much darker. But because I'm moving so quickly, that's how I'm getting the lighter burn. So up here, let's see here. Let's just get that. I'm kind of skipping. I can always burn darker over it, so I'm not too worried. What I'm trying to do is just push out the horn in that way. And it just glides. I really like it, actually. Um, I think we think that the larger surface area of the ball would make it very glidey. It does. And, and this is not, um, if I remember right, the ball tip, uh, these are a different type of metal. Mm -hmm. So they don't, this one won't glow or barely glow the tip if it was on tin. Because it's a different metal, it's also going to discolor differently. And discoloring of your tips is totally normal. You don't want to take off the black that builds up on your tip because then it doesn't glide like it needs to. That black that builds up, let me see if I can, um, let's see here. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but there's a little bit of black on the end of my tip. That's good. Don't try to polish that off. These are meant to turn black. You see the small ball tip, it turns a different color. It goes, I'm trying to remember, based on what. See, these go gray. And the small, can't remember the color. This is just based off of talking pot on the discoloration. And I can't remember now. They'll well, probably yell at me later. Lana's asking what are the clues for the celebrity? And, and David continues to make guess, guesses. Let's see here. Maybe you should go ahead and read all the previous prompts or okay. clues. Okay. That way. Do you want me to include the current one? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Hang on. That way we have all live to. Oh. 
Okay. Give a chance oh. to. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All right, so the celebrity, I feel like everybody here knows exactly what we're talking about. But well, Val is doing a celebrity portrait. Yeah. Um, fairly soon, she's knocking down all these projects, but she's getting to it. Um, but, um, so we've been giving out hints, and for the winner of whoever gets it, uh, we'll be notifying in uh, private. Private, and there will be two winners, um, one in for the comments after the live that are on the video, <coughs> and for comments during the live. So there will be two different winners. Uh, and of course, if you guess correctly, we're not going to let you know. We'll let you know personally so that that so, doesn't yeah. ruin the other person's chance of, of getting a, uh, a fair guess. So, um, okay, so the hints are is that this person is male. Their hair is an iconic part of their style. They are not dead. They're not a musician, but they are in entertainment. They're on American TV, but not network TV. So when we say not network TV, not the big ones, not ABC, CBS, uh, NBC, not, not any of those. And not a clown, so no Jeez. clowns, no, no relation to clowns. Um, dark hair, no gray in the hair, so dark haired. He has facial hair. The show that he's on is a reality type show. He's from the Midwest. And so the hint for this week is is that he has long hair. So it's not short hair, it is long. So um, and there you are. <laughs> this week's hint. And that should actually knock out a lot of hints. Yeah. And we can stop hearing about George Clooney. <laughs> so, um and also Okay, sure. Just, no, it's, I, it, it's not Fabio. I'm just saying, <laughs> okay. Hey Wingman. I, I do want to add to the Midwest just in case um, that that's the USA. That's America. Just in case for the people who oh. are out of country. That's true. Yeah. So we'll add that. Like getting out their maps and looking at what, what is Midwest Europe. <laughs> yeah. So well, I'll give a free one there. It's from the Ukraine. <laughs> that way it makes it easier. Cause so I have the 18S and I am on three and I'm just trying to build up. You know what's funny is that the guesses that are starting to come in yeah. are starting to more resemble him if that makes sense they're getting closer now if if somebody guesses both in chat and down in the comments on replay and we get a we get an answer for both then we'll go ahead and announce it mm -hmm. prior to the video coming out that way people um, uh, people get an answer <laughs> that way people get on the hype train get an answer and get on the hype train <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? Huh? Getting on the hype train? Yeah. Oh, okay. Nothing. So there's Shadow from... Something I heard one time. Oh, okay. Down in Oaktown. Down in Oaktown. Oh, up in the iCard, just in case you missed it, up in the iCard up here, after the live, I do have... I posted a video yesterday of the fully finished... Uh, World Pyrography Month piece. I haven't posted it on social media yet so that everybody can watch the video first to see what I did. And then I'll probably post in the next couple of days. Overall, I am happy with the piece. Definitely, it was great practice for me. I'll tell you that. I don't normally do people, but I am going to be doing more of them. So this was really good practice. Now what I'm doing is trying to get, because the, there's shadow from the curly hair that falls over the horn. So we gotta get that. That's what helps give the realistic effect that I want. And I will probably still have to keep um, darkening. I am trying to get rid of some of these graphite lines. I don't need them. I'm looking at the photo. I don't need them. That way. And the lighter burns, the graphite doesn't show through, but I am going to do one thing. 
because my photo, my reference photo is smaller than what you guys are looking at. Oh yeah, I forgot. I taped it down. <laughs> I am actually just to the side. What I'm gonna do it's easier for me to see and not keep looking up. I'm going to have my reference relatively close by. So I can just keep looking down instead of trying to look up while we're going. And then hopefully I can burn quicker. Oh, um, in case you didn't see my other post in the Facebook group, or you're not on Facebook, um, <coughs> excuse me, but you are on Instagram. Pat is on Instagram now, and if you use, and I am helping him with them, mainly I'm posting the photos. He's answering and commenting and whatnot. But I'm helping him with the photos. If, and I told him it would be a great idea to show how much he appreciates all of his Optima customers. If you're on Instagram and using the Optima, please use the hashtag either Optima One Burner, Wood Burner, or Optima One Burner. I put it in the group and I can't remember. Um, and once and during the week, I'm going to go look for art that you guys have created, regardless of level. And we're going to show your art because I think that's cool. In fact, the hashtags are in the bio for PJ, PJL Enterprises. That is the Optima. Um, profile. So right now I'm really just blocking it. So I know where everything goes and then I will go back and fix my tonal values. Thing is, is I know this is going to look different than the other horn. Now underneath we have shadow. And so we really need to put that shadow in without outlining. So I'll get that in there. And I'm just on three and a half. So I'll get this shadow in and then I'll erase some more. You see, this shows me right here. I'm going to have to go darker under the horn in order to pop it out. So it's not resting in the background because unfortunately the ear does kind of rest with the background, but the horn does not. Let me actually end up having to wipe this with alcohol to really get rid of the graphite. So Greg says he might have to get him one of those. He has only he only has the medium ball tip. Oh, I love all my ball tips. Um, David is making tips for his burner today. Ugh, I don't envy you. Yeah, and there's a ton of guests, and Troy guessed George Clooney. <laughs> he did uh, that because of what you said. I know he did. Um, whoops. Okay. Um, a ton of, ton of, actually, wow. A ton of guesses. I'm looking over them to see. Um, and David linked your World Pyrography Month picture. Thank you so much. And that one definitely has special meaning. Alrighty. This is going all the way down. You see their horns pick up their environment. And what I mean by that are the scratches and nicks that they get from just everyday horn life. So we definitely want to make sure we include those because that is part of the animal. I'm going to have to shift a little bit. Hopefully, I'm going to have to bring the camera down. Ooh. There we go. There we go. And I am doing some negative burning underneath just so I don't lose my line and get any kind of misshape from what I've erased. And like hair, bone does have, or horns do have, um, 
direction that they go. So I guess it'd be more like wood actually. Um, they do have a form of grain. And I don't know what that would be called. Where you can see the different, uh, it's not age, it's more like our fingernails. Um, ridges, ridges, that's the word I want, ridges. Like ruffles? Yes. Ruffles have ridges. Yep. So I'm just negative running around so I don't lose because when I go darker here, I'm going to lose some of that line. And since this area is going to be darker anyway, negative burn at the same time. So I don't lose it. Let's see here. And so you'll notice on the horn, we got shadow here that then switches to this side. And that's just because of how the horn lays. And we do need to follow that shadow or it won't look right. If you just do light just right here and have none of the shadows, it won't, you'll keep looking at your picture feeling like it's off, but won't know why. And I hate that feeling. Hate that feeling. In fact, I had that with the World Pyography Month piece. Um, what I didn't record and include in the video, which I kind of now wish I did, was I did go back and detail and balance. So you see me wood burning each of the pieces and being done and moving on, but those weren't the final finals. I actually went through and um, did more work. I probably should have recorded it, but I wanted to get it done so I didn't turn the camera on. Let's see here. Because this graphite's been on the board for so long. Greg is asking, would it be beneficial to also get a large ball tip since he's ordering? Yes. Okay. That was pretty definite. Well, they're great for shading. For scrumbling and lines and writing and detail work. Um, I do like my ball tips. I am curious about the 13M. Yeah? Yeah, I'm wondering if I should switch over just to try it out. I'm curious to see how it heats up. That's what I'm curious about. Should we switch? Maybe so. You know chat's gonna tell you to switch. Because they want to see it too. Alrighty, alrighty. So this should, in theory, burn. Um, and I haven't done a test board on these. I just got them yesterday. So in theory, these should keep the same or very similar to the um, 18s. So what I'm going to do is just a quick... Oh, it feels different. Even though it doesn't look it, it feels a little thicker. Hmm. So this is at three and a half. I probably should let it heat up more. Hmm. I know people like carvers use them for fish scaling. To put scales on their fishes. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, feels like it's a little thicker metal, which a lot of people wouldn't notice, but I can feel the difference. <coughs> and Pat didn't even realize how much of a difference I could feel. Um, so that is at four and a half. So now I'm gonna bump it down to three and a half. Just so I can see. Meryl says large ball tip is great for varying stippling. Mm -hmm. um, Melissa Nagel uh, asks, is your spear tip really sharp on the sides or is it rounded? The uh, spear tip is sharp on top. It's not like, let's see here. This is the, let's see if I can get an angle so you can see. This one's more rounded and sharp, and this is hot, so I'm not going to touch it. That's what I'm watching. <laughs> it's not, I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. Um, hey, Teresa. This one has the cuts into the uh, angled cuts. 
the rounded but they do touch down on the wood differently and that's what I'm feeling is how it's touching down in fact I know I'm supposed to be working on the bone but I think there we go I'll test it on the fur apparently this is really good for buildings because you can you can get some of the you can get right up to it to get that line like ooh, I could see how it could be used for calligraphy too mm -hmm. so that was at three and a half let's see how it darkens there's some really rich color variations there oh there's a there's a lot well that's going with the wood grain and the different pens and the different heat settings <coughs> But there is, there's a lot of different value. The camera's not picking it up as well as. Let's see here. Why is my camera down? I think I am going to go ahead and switch over back to the spear shader. Though, because I'm used to it. And I know that sounds weird, but when you're used to a pen and you know how it's going to run and move, it's just quicker to use. So I am going to not use that. I will play with the other one more. That way we could see. It's very angular, whereas the, and this is the small spirit shader. And it's also rounded. Now its point isn't as sharp. So I'll put that in there. I am going to have to wipe this horn down. I probably should have done that. So everybody, what do we use to wipe down the board to remove the graphite? Uh, steel wool. Everybody at the same time. Steel wool. No. Uh, a green pad. No. Uh, the water hose from the backyard. No. Uh. Yeah, everybody tell him what to use. A sock. No. Oh. That's a burn attack. Alright, sorry, I had to get up to get that. I had to get up to get that. Let's get rid of some of this graphite. Well, it's not denatured alcohol in a, in a soft, lint free rag. Oh. Smarty pants. I was waiting for the chat to tell you. <laughs> says, lick it off. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> smoky. Alrighty. This graphite has been on the board for so long, over two years. I am curious how it's gonna. Yeah, this might not resolve my issue. So. Steel wool. <laughs> no, not quite. Uh -oh. But close. <laughs> but close. I mean, it, yeah. This is really in the grain. It's in the bone. Literally. All this is is a piece of 400 grit sandpaper ripped into a small piece with my sanding stick inside. That way I can have control of the paper. And I can put more pressure down. I'm doing this with the grain of the wood. And this graphite I put on the board in August of 2017. Alrighty. That is light enough that when I burn over it, it should hide. You see, I have to look at how how this horn is. I'm going to have to smooth it out a bit, I think. And I'm going to have to try to go at the same value. Even though this was burned, this horn was burned two years ago, and some of what I do has changed a bit, as well as my uh, burner. This horn was done with Burnmaster and Colwood. So this side of the face 
is Burnmaster and Colwood. Actually, a lot of this is. And then I've had to sand and go back and go over with the Optima to get a better result. So you're going to need some more um, suggestions from chat as far as things to clean it off with. Comet cleaner. Mm. Methyl, ethyl ketone, kerosene. <laughs> yes, we're going to add kerosene to the wood and then apply heat. <laughs> yes. That would be one way to do a wood burning. Yes, that wood. Do you mean to do that? Yeah. <laughs> you. All right. So negative burn under the horn because this area is going to go darker anyway. And what I'm doing here, not only negative burning to darken this area, but I'm also removing some heat from my tip so that when I go in here, which I forgot my photo. <clears throat> Alright, go back to this, push up into my, this way I can move quicker, not get my blobs because I'm touching down in a dark area first. This is going to go much darker. Let's just get it in there. Get it in there. Now some of these I'll, I will go back with um, the ball tip to detail out a little bit. So this part of the bone is lighter, but it's still going to get sunburn. And we have some darker area. I don't know if this what creates these um, crevices in the horn. We need them. So we'll get them in there. I don't feel like they have to be exact, but I do think they need to be there. And I'll go back and adjust them. All right, the second. See, I, I was able to lighten up the graphite enough that you can't see it. And then we've got a line that goes. And what's funny is, compared to the pattern that I made two years ago to transfer onto the wood, I also see things a bit differently. And so I'm having to go back and remove the graphite so that I can even more do even more freehand here to get it in right because I'm already freehanding curve that and we got some lines get those in there now let's see here I'm gonna have to do this because I'm leaning around the camera. So uh, Melissa wants to know that uh, denatured alcohol doesn't alter the burning. No, it actually feels like it feels. Now this is how it feels to me. Whether it's true or not, the way it feels to me is it actually softens up the wood and it kind of takes the burn better. That's the way it feels to me. Now it could be what it's doing is um, kind of changing the burnish that happens to wood when you sand it, especially with fine grit. So it could be why it feels differently. But to me, the wood burns better. But at the time when I put this on there, on here, I hadn't, um, I didn't know about denatured alcohol. So this board, after I sand and I get all my sanding done, I wipe it down with the denatured alcohol. That way it's uniform in the feel. And then I use it to do the cleanup and go over it. This is the first time the denatured alcohol has touched this board. Need my horn. Let's see here. Where am I? Right. In here. Alrighty. So we got a different color for here, but tunnel value will be the same.
Let's kind of get that texture in. So I've isolated the horn. Now on this side, we know right here that it's darker. So I'm going to touch down here and then I'm going to come into the horn and slow down just a little bit. So I can get, I'm not outlining. This is just where the burn starts. And it goes later into down here, but now I know right here, without outlining, I need to go darker. And since the fur is different than the typical fur, like of a dog or whatnot. I think it makes it easier because you're not in your head trying to make it look like hair. Let's see here. So, I am intentionally lifting my pen just that split second to allow it to um, get its heat back. So I can go a little darker and build it up. I know this takes more time, but in building it up, it helps you get what you're looking for. If you're working on realism, if you're doing a different style, things, outlining is like outlining are fine. And just works out differently. Now this is a little different than the 18M in that I can work it flat. Whereas the 18M works at just a slight where you can't really see it angle up and more on the tip. Cat got quiet. Or you did. <laughs> One of the two. <laughs> oh, no. no, they got quiet a little bit. Um, but Beryl is asking a question now. Mm -hmm. She says, so if I'm doing a black background, should I wipe down with alcohol to see where the not so dark areas are? Yes. And will it help take the burn better? Each piece, piece of wood is so different. And I know Burl works with wood that I don't tend to work with. Um, if you've got a scratch piece of wood, I would try it on that first. Now, the alcohol is not going to mess up the wood. It dries too quickly to raise the grain. That's one of the great things about it. But how each type of wood, or even each wood of the same species... Um, reacts is always different. Like this is a Blick board, a Dick Blick board. This is not a Trakel board. Um, I didn't know about Trakel at the time. So this is my Dick Blick board. But it's also Baltic birch and I do feel like in general it reacts the same way as um, the Trakel board. But I would test it. I'd like to be able to give an overall general answer, but all woods are different, and so that just really makes it harder. Let's see here. So I got my hair here. Like looking at my sepia. I'll flip it so you guys can see what I'm looking at. So this area is lighter. This area, even though this is, even though this is light, this is still lighter, which means I need to darken this, which means that needs to go dark. And that's the beauty of the sepia uh, photo because you don't see the tonal value like that with a color photo. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up to four and a half so I can work around here 
And so it, even though I said I was going to be working on the horn, I am, but I do need to keep balancing as I go in order to make sure I don't get the, the horn too dark like I did on the other side. In fact, I may end up sanding. Oh, where did I doing? I may even sand some of this burn so I can lighten it up and smooth it out with my um, Optima pens. It's amazing. It is amazing. I'll say. I'll say this. Let me zoom out. There we go. I talk about different pens or different burners all the time, but I think what makes this piece unique is you can actually see the difference. Um, if you go back to, because I've got the playlist for the bison up in the top right as well. If you go back to videos of two years ago, you'll see where I was. That way you can compare to where I am now. And it just burns differently. I've had to go back over so many areas and fix things and whatnot in order to get it the way I want it to. So there we go. And all I'm doing here. So there are a different in difference in burners, especially the pins. The pins the most. David, what burner are you uh, using and that you're making pins for? I personally don't like making pins. I just want to get in there and burn. I don't have to worry about anything else. And see that's the same like with the Colwood pens. I don't want to have to either pay three dollars to have them somewhat um, polish it or do it myself. Alright, so I'm just going to go here. So we have some of our darker fur. And this is even going to have to go darker. But I'm trying to smooth out this end in there that I got. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and drop down, back down to three and a half and work on this. So this, tonal wise, oof, it's much darker. Let's get that in there. This right here is the shadow is darker than the fur underneath. There's a line right here. This goes like this. Alright, so now I am gonna blend it out. The shadow on the outer part of the horn here is going to be lighter. Our darkest part is going to be right in here. You can hear your wind chimes in here. The wind's really blowing. It has been. Uh, that's going to have to go even darker. To pop it out from this fur, it's gonna have to go darker. Um, Beryl wants to know when are you gonna hear about Xena from Trakal? Um, I looked on their Instagram today and they said uh, next week. Next week. So they said, okay, fingers crossed. Everybody else did paintings, so I have no idea how mine's gonna be accepted. At the very least, it makes me different. <coughs> Whether they think it's good enough, and that difference will be <sighs> something to wait for. David says he finds some of his burning fades. Some of your burnings, I see, and I've heard that from other people. Now, is the burning actually fading? Or is it that... It looks lighter, 
and feels like it's fading once you've applied your varnish. Hmm. Because that's two different things. That's why I'm asking. Well, I would say from a... Because once you put varnish on, if it faded, it would that would that would mean that there is some sort of a chemical reaction there. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not what I mean. But it doesn't seem likely that it would have that kind of reaction. Unless you're using a varnish that's meant for something. Oh, no. No. What did you do? Oh, I dropped my eraser. So it? it's under here. So I was doing a slow mo. Slow mo. No. Like underwear, I can't see it. I know it's fine. I've got another little piece up here. Okay, it's fine. Sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's get some more. Alright. Try, 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 try. That's darker. So I'm just waiting for David to uh, change one you don't like. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh, he's, he's telling me which burner he has. Oh, okay. He said the Chinese one I don't like. <laughs> well, that is a true statement. That is a true statement. He says, no, not finished. No, not finished. Not finished with what? I don't know. I'm lost. I am too. I'm lost. All right. So I now have some negative burning to do over here. The horn is rounded. So I want to make sure I get that. And this part of the fur is darker. So I'm going to get that in there. Let's get some negative burn done in here so we can get the shape right. Let's see here. I gotta remember not to darken up this area because I, I really want to darken up this area because that's what feels natural, but that is not how this is presenting. So I need to go. In like fact, there is no high, there's no side highlight that's coming because the sun is coming down. So there, we don't have a reflective light here. So I, that's what's throwing me off. I need to go darker here. And I do the pre-burn where it's a little lighter. So that, let me see if I can explain this right. Sometimes with blocking in, if you do a lighter burn and then build up your darker burn it doesn't it burns smoother and feels right now i'm gonna have to turn my board again because i need this inside angle um girl says if anybody in canada wants a copy of woodworking illustrated that's the one with your pattern. Yes. It can be found in Cole's bookstore. Oh, right cool. At, so eight dollars and a few pennies Canadian. Oh, cool. Thank you, Earl. So get your duck bucks together and <laughs> head to Cole's. This is darker. Gotta get it in there. I actually have some duck bucks. I didn't I didn't know what they were until I went through Canada. I guess in the uh, Yukon they call them duck bucks, and then in um, the lower area they call them loonies. At least back back in the 90s. I don't know, they probably call them something else now. Well, Burl will tell you. Alright, so I'm just trying to get this smoothed out. I don't want it aligned because it's not a line, it's a shadow. So I need to have, though sometimes shadows can be just lines, I need to have it. You know, a line is something that you draw 
and most times what we perceive as a line is just simply a harsh transition yes of light and shadow. Okay. it's a transition point between um, different different values a very harsh transition point but it, so if you end up drawing a line it creates problems because there's actually not a line there so Rail says still loonies <laughs> Do some negative burning on this side. Actually, I kept some. I think I have three, two or three loonies. So, I thought that was pretty cool. I wish, I, wish, I know we used to have the Sacagawea dollars mm -hmm. and then the Susan B. Anthony's, but we haven't had anything like that in circulation for a while. Like, I think it would be nice to go back to that, to, um, to a dollar coin because like Europe like you it's like you have the euro which is a dollar basically and um, I think there's a five euro coin or that might be so when they start paper but um, I actually uh, like like the euro a lot it's very colorful hmm Here, I've got I'm trying to shape the tip here. <laughs> Sorry. Beryl says, What do you think that the name came from? Everyone thought the person wanted to get rid of five dollar, uh, dollar bills was slightly loony. Ooh, a polar bear. 20, a, 20s. 20s? Uh, polar bear would be cool. Let's see here. I feel my curve is off. So maybe. So you still need to build this up. It's still not. Oh, toonies. Toonies. I think. See, it's okay that I got a little blotch there because it goes with the horn. And David's working on Christmas gifts now. That's smart. It is. As a pyrographer, because if you start. Now, you might be done for Christmas two years from now. <laughs> Not everybody works as slow as I do. A lot of people don't. It's just me. David still has a two-dollar bill in his pocket. You know what? I also have. I have two two-dollar bill. Two do yeah, two-dollar bills that are in mint condition that um, I think my grandma got me, and I, they're, they've never been in circulation. They're just mint. And I, th I think that's pretty interesting because most people don't know that we ever had a $2 bill mm -hmm. here in the U.S. I had them too for my grandmother. But I bet you most people that were born, say, 20 years ago or earlier, they have no clue. Oh, I'm sure. Let's see here. i got to find a way to hold this. Hold that. Alrighty. Let's get creative. So now I can darken. Now, sometimes the way the pen hits the grain, when you do it at an angle, it could leave an ugly mark, but I'm actually using those to my advantage. Because part of the um, horn looks like it's going back and forth, but then it's also going up and down, and it's giving me kind of the feeling. Blend these together. I think what's nice here is that horns are rarely perfectly symmetrical. Yep. So that's nice. It's one of the less things to stress about. You know that reminds me of the, the Flintstones. <laughs> the part, the part yes. that's visible right now. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right there. Yeah. The, yeah, the Flintstone. Water and the water buffalo. Yep. Yeah. Let's see here. Totally fine. So see, this looks so much different than the other horn. It's so much smoother. Um, and I will go back and put some texture in because it does have texture. But, like, the burn quality itself, I'm much happier with this one. Let's see. Let's see here. 
There is a difference. The more a pen glides, the um, smoother the results. All right, we gotta come up here, get our heating on it here. Now this and this side's gonna be heavier because it's down and carries appears to carry the weight coming out of the head. So this is going to be darker. Let's see, got some dark in here. That are just, and then like I said, some of it isn't as smooth as what I'm burning right now. But I can go back in with the nine writer and the ball tips and put that texture in. Let's Right now, I'm trying to push the horn forward. This is closer to the camera than the fur behind it. Although the fur behind it is lighter. But the fur behind it will show less detail than this will because it's further back. I know that's so much to think about, but the more you get used to doing it and looking at things like this, mm -hmm. the more your burnings will come out the way you want them to. Just taking that time to put just little stuff in makes a big difference. Greg says hello. Is he, was he not here? I, I don't he know. Was. That's a different Greg. Oh. Hello, Greg. Hey, Greg. If you notice, the spelling's different. Oh, and right. Yep. Oh, did you tell Greg you watched his I did. I watched video? some RC stuff from Greg. Actually, I watched, um, it was a, um, um, the, the, it was a tail cam showing, like, the smoke trail. So, it's pretty cool. It's kind of, um, reminded me of, like, some practical effects you'd see on a, on a movie. Like, really fly an RC plane, and it's, like, supposed to be a full-size plane. <laughs> because, really, I mean, you can tell from the scale, but, but also kind of not. So, until it lands in the grass, and the grass is huge, but it's pretty cool stuff. We were talking about that the other day, because RSC stuff came up, because I was, some stuff came up on my feed, and she mentioned that Greg does RSC stuff, but the stuff that I was talking about is ridiculous, because um, there's a guy in Germany who has a, oh, one six scale. A one six Concords, and it actually has jet engines, and it's like, to me... This is my opinion, but like that sort of defeats the purpose of having an RC plane. I mean, like that's uh, that's a, almost a full size uh, ultralight. You just simply can't ride in. So anyway, ah, GoPro. But um, but yeah, Greg, um, I. I the RC stuff that you have on your channel is pretty cool. I just realized this part of the horn is darker than back there. Mm. So I'm gonna actually have to do let's see here. Uh, Greg wants to know what tips to use most often. The pins that I use the most often, regardless of what I'm burning, right? That would be the 18M, the 19M, the 9M, I'm thinking, <laughs> those are the main ones. This part of the horn's darker, so I'm having to lighten that burn. Yeah, those I'd say were the three main, main ones that I grab the most. Now, that, you know, can change for other things that I'm doing. I hate doing lettering, so 
But the, you do good lettering. I, no, I don't. She doesn't think she does. Because I don't. But she does. I don't like it, and I don't do it's it. It's because. Well. And that's fine. It's just not something I like to do. That's because. I'm not drawn to it. You're not drawn to it. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that's <laughs> because your perception of lettering that's well done is perfect. Like, she would no. want it as if no. it was printed out <coughs> on a computer oh, perfect. Me. Well, that's true. Yeah. I know it's true. So, hey, I'm like the lettering that she did recently on her oh, World Pro it. project That's the is one. just fine. Mm -mm. Fine is not good enough. Well, it looks for me, nice. for me, anybody else, no judgment. For so me. anyway, so I think in a nutshell, you see the conflict. Look, I'm in a nutshell. Yeah, Sorry, I'm trying to change the subject. <laughs> So yes, she is uh, very much a perfectionist when she comes to lettering. I don't particularly like lettering either, but um, I know how to do it because I've had to do murals and almost all of them have had, had lettering, lettering on it. So I'm a big fan of guide tape and uh, so I can get the, oh, if I could have used that. the height of things correct. So I guess it, it doesn't doesn't call to me and I don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah David I've, se I've seen a lot of that stuff that like there's yes the four engine jet and then there's like um, they have a kind of like a they have an eighth scale a10 and there's like a, a sixth scale Apache and that to me is insane that's like you get a pilot's license and just go fly yeah but, um, cause like for the Apache in particular, I mean, that's, that's a lot of moving parts Like you definitely have to be careful with that. Cause like if you crash your, your RC plane, which is tragic cause I've owned RC planes when I was a kid, not, not fancy ones like, but you know, they crashed and it's like, Oh no, the wheels fell off. I was like, Oh no. But, <laughs> oh, but no. if you're, if, if your one sixth scale Apache helicopter crashes into a house, it could wreak some havoc. You know, hurt some people. Need to get this branch. David says your lettering is great on your last project. <laughs> thank you. I was way, not happy. Way to be with gracious. Thank no, you. thank you. Thank I you. was not happy with it. <laughs> no. And Melissa is complimenting you on your work. Oh, thank you. And I'm about to switch pens so I can start putting details in. I am going to switch it over to you. Dun, dun, dun. And how much longer are we going? I don't know. I don't know what time it is. It's noon. I have to go um, take my meds. All right. Uh, just a few minutes. Okay. Just enough to put a little bit of detail in so they can see. So I can hold off? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm waiting for my medium ball tip. Amy is still working on her world pyro piece. Totally fine. I... I would rather people work on it and finish it and learn what they needed to learn for themselves than to just stop. I agree, Bear. Or worried about being late. You're not supposed to crash things in houses. You're not supposed to. You know, Troy in chat, Did I, don't, he? I don't know if he's still in chat, <laughs> but he and his friends up in Minnesota, they have, um, I don't know, it's for New Year's, but they actually have like RC races. Oh, do they? Yeah, they have, and I'm not sure. I think it's helicopters, but I don't know. If Troy's still here, he'd have to, like, tell us. Alrighty. That's good. I think I'm going to focus right here on the darker area. Beryl has to tutor a math student in 15 minutes. Okay. I'll hurry. Oh, math. Ugh. So let's detail some of this out. My nemesis. So I blocked in with the spear shader. This is the 19, 19M ball tip on three and a half, so it's the same temperature as it was for the spear shader. And what I'm doing is looking, I'm looking for the shadows in here, which you may not be able to see very well, but I'm looking for where the shadows are and the direction they go in order to here 
Let's do some hair here now. This I don't care about if it's smooth or not because it's bone. It's it's bone. It's not smooth. I don't know. The bison goes to the beauty salon to get a horticure instead of a pedicure. A hornicure. A hornicure. A hornicure. Did I just make up a word? Maybe. T. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Troy says three channel helicopters that, so that, that everybody can join in. David was working on his commission. Well, I'll we'll go to lunch or we'll do lunch. I guess technically it's going to lunch. Um, take a nap and then I'll get back on this. Because I'm trying to think. I don't have any other piece that I'm going... I really don't want to start a new one. I want to get this finished. Yeah. Because I'd like to put this in for its elemental. Gotcha. And by next week, I'd like to have it sealed and be able to put on the um, gold leaf and whatnot. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to look pretty. It's only going to look pretty if I put it... Don't overdo it and put it in the right spot. So... So Greg, what's the difference between a drone and an RC? Like I know the difference, but just for a chat. See, I could go even darker. In fact, I'm gonna have to. So that's lighter. We get a line right about there. And when I'm looking for things, I'm looking for landmarks. Like right here, I know this line is closer to this edge. So I'm looking for this edge right here in my burning. And then I use that as a landmark to keep going and get things in the right spot, especially since I have the, the graphite gone, since I erased it. I need to be able to find areas see this right here it's not much darker underneath wow I didn't realize that I guess barrel has a problem with uh, thieves oh what happened I monitor the cows and see if anybody's dropping off any oh. vehicles wow no idea I'm oh, sorry, that's going on. Is Canada, are they nice thieves? <laughs> you stereotypically polite. <laughs> um, don't mind me, eh? Yeah. I'm going to be taking your go. Hope you don't mind, eh? Actually, I don't know if that's right for Canadian or not. <laughs> because... Okay. When I talk to Burl, he doesn't sound like a typical Canadian. Da or sort of typical. Yeah, sort of typical. Oh, David's working on his commission in a Christmas tray. Ah. Man, it's, it's going to be Christmas pretty soon. When do my Halloween decorations Oh, my up? God. I knew that was going to come up. I I'm, shouldn't have said anything. I'm wearing my Halloween pants. October 1st. Oh. You know that. See, guys, he's a big meanie. No, I'm not. Well, let me have my Halloween stuff. Yeah, you think if I wind them up and laugh, the toasties will tell you to do it. <laughs> oh, don't try and bring your, don't try and wield your toasties as, as some power, as some club to try and force me into. Toasties. No, no. Oh. And Barrel says no, not nice, as far as the Canadian thieves. Um, They're probably more like Trailer Park Boys. Nice. That probably makes Beryl sad that the only only thing that we know about Canada is, well, I know more about Canada because I live next to it and I've, I've known quite a few Canadians. But the only, but most Americans, what they know about Canada is Trailer Park Boys and then... Yeah, the, but that's the other side the of the country from her. The stereotypical stuff that comes out about Canada. Well, I was teasing her about the... And Troy says don't give in. 
October 1st. Mm. No, don't. No. Mm. Mm -mm. no. Well, see, look, look. I don't. Mm. No, I don't care. Mm. You put your lip back in. Mm. I don't care. Please. No. Please. I love you, but no. Please. No. Pretty please. <sighs> Pretty, 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 please. No. Mm. Let's talk about the, the Bernie. Halloween. See, yeah, I am so much happier with this one. I really am. And let's show them together. I am. I see a big difference. Let's see the camera. I'm going to, don't get sick. I'm going to do this. Oh. So that it's even. Won't stop. There we go. Turn that off. <coughs> Excuse me. See, I'm already seeing it. I mean, I still need to do a lot more detailing here. But I see a big difference between this one and that one. I'm going to have to... You know what this looks like? Oh my gosh. Looking on the screen, you know what that looks like? Look at the screen, not the morning. That, to me, looks like something from the Aliens movie. Okay. Do you see it? Yeah. Like the alien and how it's ripped on its abs? Yeah. It looks like alien abs. Though I just saw something else that I am not pointing out. I just assumed that that was what you were seeing in the beginning. No, I just saw that. <laughs> but I'm not going to point that one out. Nor am I going to ask chat to tell me or <laughs> put it in the comments. Well... <laughs> If you know me well enough, maybe you know what I see. So Troy probably does. Amy says, celebrate the great pumpkin. Mm, mm, mm. What did I say? Hold on, hold on. Okay, you're going to get dizzy again. Are you going to fall over? No. Okay. No. I see you're bringing the, ca the camera to you and you're not going to try to put your leg up there. The great pumpkin. Look. I got the great pumpkin. So this is, these are my fuzzy pants that I was all happy. When about. I was little, <laughs> the great pumpkin, the, the that was actually it, it was in its first couple years of running. It may have I may have actually seen the very first running of the peanuts, the great pumpkin. Let's see here. And my parents decided it would be a good idea to integrate that into our Halloween um, regimen. The pumpkin. And so. <laughs> My dad, who was into black powder um, muzzle loaders <laughs> at the time, and we had a pumpkin pumpkin patch, right? And they hyped it up. They're like, "Oh, the great pumpkin's gonna come and visit." And you know, well, how will I know that the great pumpkin? I mean, as a child, I didn't ask that intellectually. Like, father, mother, how will I know? <laughs> I was like, "How how are we gonna know?" And they're like, "Well, he'll arrive in the pumpkin patch, and he'll give you a present." So, unbeknownst to me. Like, my mom made sure that on Halloween, you know, it was nighttime, that Dad had to go somewhere and do something. And Mom made sure that I was in the upstairs of the cabin and looking out towards the garden, which had the pumpkin patch. And then my mom was like, hey, do you see something out there? And I was like, no. <laughs> you know? So I'm playing with, like, Legos or something. <laughs> She's like, come here, there's something out there. And I'm like, what? And she starts hyping it up. Like, I, I think maybe the great pumpkin's going to be there. And then... There was a huge explosion, black powder explosion, with like, you know, and uh, so there's this like, boom, there's this like sparks <laughs> flying everywhere, and I'm like, oh my god, it's a great pumpkin! <laughs> I believed in that for a while, man, it was irrefutable to me. And then like, he turned 35. Yeah, and then it was like, people would be like, oh, the great pumpkin, and I'm like, no, that's real. Mm. That's real. I've seen it. And of course, when I went up there, you know, then there was... Um, stuff left in the pumpkin patch for me and i'm pretty sure some of the pumpkins were probably, blown up probably destroyed <laughs> but yeah super excited when you're like four so the ear which ear i uh, see david said the ear thank you so much uh, thank now? you so much melissa he said the vice of oh, the ear what about the ear i don't know that's what i'm asking david about. yes these were my first my first conf uh, fuzzy pants of the year. I, I've got, I've got, well, I've got Halloween. I've got Christmas. I've got stars. You have a bunch of them. Oh, I, I buy her fuzzy uh, pajamas. 
like a lot of a lot of men would give give their <laughs> give their wives roses or no no I want fuzzy pants she wants fuzzy pants and fuzzy socks yes but it's not fuzzy sock season yet so I'm just happy with the pants it's too warm for fuzzy socks and then I can put burl socks back on so thank you so much Melissa yeah I'm much happy I'm much happier with this horn over. Let's see here. I can turn this light off. It's hurting my eyes. There we go. Ah, that don't make a difference. That really didn't help. We'll do that. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Hopefully next week I will be done. By next week I will be done with this because I really want to be done. If not, we will see the bison again. I definitely want to see it with the gold leaf on it. I think that's going to be interesting. Well, I unfortunately I don't think I could do the gold leaf live because I need to have things set. No, but I want to see the, the adhesive and whatnot. I want to see the end result though. I'll show it. I'll show it. And what I'm trying to decide is if I'm going to burn because this is a leaf. Um, in the original photo, let me see here. Is this a full photo? You can't really see it. There's a leaf down here, and then he's got grass up in his curls. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking of using the um, the gold leaf to put strips of grass in his hair, but I haven't decided that yet. It may be copper, actually. Um, and I was thinking about putting uh, burning the leaf, but then having some copper accents where the light would be hitting it. <laughs> what? Nothing. Look at the left ear carefully. So we're talking this ear, right? I'm looking on the camera. Look at chat. Look at chat. Bad thoughts. See, the bad thought I have is up here. Must I stand on my head to see it? No. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> so there's two of them. <laughs> Great. I will fix that. How can you? <laughs> I don't want you to let me know in the replay comments if you know. If you've made it to the end of the live and you know what I'm laughing about. See, the thing is, is they can read the chat. You can go leave that. <clears throat> no. 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 The go, the leaf is going to go here. Actually, the gold leaf might have gone here, but I might actually have to change that thought. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, maybe. I might have uh, to put it up higher. Oh, were you going to put like a moon or something? Behind? Yeah, I'm going to have a sun up here. Yeah. And then I'm going to dry brush the adhesive uh -huh. so that it's not, so there's streaks. Okay. And I'm going to use this grain to make it into a mountain. So the leaf just comes down. Um, but yeah, I got to figure out, I think I had thought about the sun right about here. I really need to fix that horn before I even would want to highlight it. So that's going to take sanding to get that fixed. Well, I'm, I'm pretty um, proud of you. That didn't devolve into debilitating laughter. Like, we had to shut the stream down. <laughs> Barb twice, saw it. Twice. Barb saw it. You see it, Barb? Yeah, she, I'm sure she saw it, yes. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to have to fix that. So you see it more on the camera screen, on, on the screen, than you do the actual burning. Um, and that might be the, just the difference in the lighting and how the, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah. So, one thing you need to remember. Is what? You are awesome. I am? You can do this. I don't know. You're a pyro artist. I'm sure I'm not. <laughs> Happy burning, guys. Bye. Bye.